it is race time here in Mizano. So, 10 laps then of semi-final one here at the, Mo the uh, Mazzano World Circuit. Marco okay, Simoncelli here in Italy. Revs will be rising. Wait for those red lights to come on on the top of your screen. Andrew ZH, Trastevere 73 and Christian MM17 on the front row of your grid. Red lights on then here at Mazzano. And it is going to be lights out. And away we go. And a very good start from the front row of the grid. But a brilliant getaway as well for Trastevere 73. And also as well, Christian MM17. Oh, he takes the lead oh. and down to the first corner. Oh, oh, oh Sartre is down there. Oh, dearie me. Oh, and another one down at Turtus Adria 26. It, it's absolutely absolute carnage in Mizano. Slow me's down, the Briton has gone down, about three riders down in the first couple of corners, exactly what we feared here in Mizano, but the upshot is that Christian MM17 leads the way, and Luigi 48 GP, who started way back on the third row of the grid, is having a second place, oh but look at that! Oh my goodness, they've just been sent into space, he's thinking to say hi to our mate Drew Fustel! Oh, oh my goodness! Dear oh dear, well Luigi 48 GP is kept to go ahead, he's still in second place on that Red Bull KTM by Ellie Ghost 555 up there in third position on the Mobby Star Yamaha. Further back you can see quite a big gap already very pronounced at the top of your screen. Just to mention on the uh, tower graphic on the left hand side of your screen, the riders names who are in white, the top six will be going through to the grand final in Valencia. If they're seventh downwards that means that they will not be progressing upwards at this stage. Hey man, we were talking about pressure and uh, well, Christian MM17, he's got both the most pressure on his shoulders right now and also the least. How much can he keep his cool? He was pretty fast last year. So, and he's got quite a gap out there at the moment. He has actually increased that gap. Eight tenths of a second right now. Can he keep his head cool? One of the riders we didn't mention, Matt, who went down in that first corner melee was Trastevere 73. So the reigning champion, as you can see, at the bottom of the order at the moment, not where the Italian wanted to be. He's going to have to put out some serious legwork at the moment. Speaking of legwork as well, 10th position and overtake there. Paul IG making his way up the order. He's now ahead of Iotti Ferrossi. So the number seven moves his way up into the top 10 for the first time in this race. You can see the bottom of the left corner of your screen, that's race direction. They are keeping a very keen eye on track limits. And it's just to mention as well, when these riders come over the timing line, if there are any penalties to be handed out, they will be subject to race directions viewing. Yeah, so exactly. We'll be going through the race results, but they will be subject to review from the race director. Won't, we'll have to wait till he confirms those uh, positions. But he had a warning then from Iotto Ferrossi. He's just managed, he's got himself involved in a pretty big battle there with Paul IG. Goodness me, it's like a, an absolute ding dong battle out there. It's something like we saw in Valencia last year. Goodness me. Very, very close indeed. So coming down towards those ever decreasing radius right hand corners down the back straight in towards turn 11. A very fast corner. You can see the elbows dragging on the floor for these riders. Oh, you can see a move being move made. There. Andrew Z8 straight up the inside of Timothy McGarden. Brilliant stuff from him. Does he run it a bit wide on exit, but he gathers it up and he manages to hold on to that position. So Andrew Z8 up inside the top four. That's enough for him. It doesn't matter really where he finishes inside the top six. He's just got to make his way up through the order, as has Trastevere 73, Matt. He's up into 11th place. Yeah, that was such a quality move. Really messed up his line after that. You can see it. He really couldn't get his way around the corner on the proper line that he wanted. Square it up. Fastest lap, though. Oh, that was for Luigi 48 GP, but before that, Christian MM17. That was the fastest lap for him. Uh, so very, very impressive. Look at that change over there though. Hey, taking a bit too much curve there. Got to watch that. Race direction might have to get involved. Absolutely right. We're looking at Andrew ZH and this is your pole sitter now in fourth position. Just behind him is the LCR Honda of Timothy McGarden. Missed out on a top three position last year. Did the German rider. Somebody running well, well wide in the background. That was one NH16. And just to show how unpredictable this race has been, one started down in 12th position and he's now up inside the top six. Here's Trastevere though, making a move on Iotti for Rossi again these guys having a right ding dong battle as they come down in towards turn number eight he gets the move done but these guys pretty evenly matched for pace and the problem here is Matt they're squabbling amongst one another they're not making that progress through the field that they need to be well exactly but you've got to be in front in order to actually make uh, make some kind of hayway up the field but look at this they're, they're the whole length of the back straight back from first position oh three lap three seven laps to go six laps to go 
I'm not sure if they can do it, Tom. No, it's going to be very, very tight indeed. Iotti Ferrotti then down in last position. Meanwhile, the leader on board the number 63, that's Christian MM17. He's got a clear track in front of him. He's not got too much of a threat from behind as well. Luigi 48 GP there in second position. He's got more close company. Ellie goes 555 and Andrew ZH nipping at his heels as Ellie goes 555 also sets the fastest lap last time around. The Movistar Yamaha rider is looking very menacing as we look behind the race leader at the moment here, Matt. It's it's probably going to be a case of when and not if he thinks about a move. Yeah, absolutely. Meanwhile, you got Christian MM17 Ooh, heading over. Wide. Oh, he has gone wide. Oh, that's really messed it all up for him there, isn't it? It's completely messed up this first sector, and it's pretty much one line through there. If you mess it all up coming onto the back straight, you've really, really missed out on that run down to the tight left-hander. Yeah, absolutely. So he has sold himself a dummy, unfortunately, outbreaks himself in towards turn number four. Another warning for Juan Ene, 16. He's in sixth position currently. If he gets a penalty from race direction here, if he finishes in sixth place, that could potentially knock him down outside of that all-important top six. It really is important Ooh, to just keep your nose right a bit clean. That, uh, that turn 10 sort of uh, corner there, that little complex we have uh, just before the back straight, very, very tricky. You can really mess up your uh, fire out onto the uh, back straight. Look at this though, running wide on those curves. And it's so bumpy through there from dead 11. Uh, fast right-hander, pretty much flat out in MotoGP Esports. Andrew ZH there just exceeding track limits a little bit as he went through turn number 12. The elbow was very much on the inside of the curve there. You can still see on that graphic on the right-hand side of your screen, Iossi Ferosti and Trastevere 73 still going side by side for most of the part and they are battling pretty heavily at the moment as we now come into the halfway stage of this race. Yeah, very, very clear as well that Christian MM17 is in a proper rhythm now. Uh, that's eight tenths again. He's maintaining that gap very, very well, keeping calm, keeping cool. And, uh, well, seems to be got a dominant lead right now ahead of Luigi 48 GP. Very impressive, though, for these riders who did come a cropper in that first corner, first lap incident really because they have made up some significant ground and you can see with the graphic on the bottom right hand side of your screen that track map there just how close they all are given what happened on that opening lap it's still very impressive regardless here's one h n h 16 we've seen him have a warning from race direction we've seen an overtake as well uh, for second place as well and uh, andrew zx rather up into second now ahead of luigi 48 gp matt yeah, and well, just I was getting a bit mesmerised there by the onboard angle view, I must admit. Uh, but this is turning into a cracking little battle there for second position. Of course, like you said earlier, doesn't really matter. These guys, if they're in the top six, they're all through. They're just playing for pride. Absolutely right. You can see already the gap that Andrew ZH is pulling out. Incident between number 61, Timothy McGarden, and who else is this going to be? Number 58, Trastevere 73, last year's champion, and Luigi 48 GP under investigation. So that will be the first corner skirmish that Race Direction have had a very stiff, stiff word about. And big words as well, big drama for Ivan Evea. He has crashed on lap five and is going right down to the bottom of your timesheet here, Matt. Yeah, I'm just thinking, apart from those first laps on a melee, we've not had any crashes for a little quite a while. Everything has sort of settled down it just goes to prove just like uh, the on track out there first laps really count if they could get a little bit crazy especially here as well oh, we're getting all sorts of crossed up as we we're uh, trying to climb it all over the back of that ktm in this first sector got to be so careful here though uh, that turn three turn four or so can be really really treacherous whether you're on the tarmac out there or on the game in here so through the left hand, looking at Luigi 48 GP, nipping at his heels now is Ellie Goes 555 on that Mobistar Yamaha. Down towards turn number eight they go. Still lining pretty astern at the moment, but let's not forget, of course, these guys going incredibly quickly, and also going incredibly quickly is this man here, Trastevere 73. He is on a right charge at the moment. He's made his way up into 10th position, but he's running out of time here to make his way up the order. He's trying to muscle his way past Paul IG. These guys oh. very familiar indeed. And here comes Iotti Ferrossi straight up the inside of Trastevere. Trastevere tries to find his way back through once again. And you can see a warning as well from race direction. He's exceeding track limits a bit too much for their liking. This is getting very hot under the collar. Tom, he was focusing way too much on the guy in front there. He left the door wide open. And that brilliant oh! escape on the inside. Who was that? Down that was one in 16 who's gone down from sixth position. So he is going to be out of the grand final at this race here, Matt. He's going to have a lot of work to do in those last four laps. And it's Christmas come early for Adrian, 26. He's now into the grand final.
Tom, this is absolutely fantastic, I must admit. Uh, what a drama that we have, the number 16 there. Well, you say he might be out and it might be dream over. He can still get to Madrid, mate. Yeah, he certainly can do. Of course, let's not forget the second lot of challenges as he comes and tips it into that left hand of this one. If he doesn't make it on this cut, he's got those last four challenges to make his way through. It's going to be very tight oh, indeed. Oh, that's going that. very wide. Race duration, going to have to have a look at that one. That is well over track limits. And let's not forget that. So first into the somebody down in the background. Who was that? that oh, was and down right in front of him as well. It's a Ferrossi was that? It was. the Ossie no, was Suomi. And Suomi, the Briton's gone down. So disaster for him. And Paul IG, what is happening in the latter stages of this one? It's getting very close and very, very exciting. More warnings coming in from race direction. Lots of crashes taking place all over the shop, really, as these riders are just pushing the limits that little bit too far in the order to make themselves um, up into that top six. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Tom, I think they smell blood from a one NH16 going down. They all thought, hey, there is a sixth place position here up for grabs if I can do it. Three or so laps left. Oh, and then they're just pushing those limits a little bit too much. Might have counted themselves out of the race completely. Well, they're going to have a very hard task to catch up with Adrian26 because the nearest competitor to him now, against all the odds, is one NH16. And he's 2.1 seconds adrift of Adrian 26 at the moment. So he's going to have a lot of work to do. Have to hope for some kind of a mistake, really, from Adrian to try and progress himself up inside that top six. No such dramas for this man here, though. The race leader, Christian MM17. He's got an eight-tenth of a second buffer over the rest of the field. He has absolutely kept that lead immaculate. He knows exactly what he's doing, running exactly the same pace as the two men behind him. Meanwhile, Luigi 48 GP has managed to uh, see a little bit of daylight between himself and the man ahead. Not the little bit of daylight he would like to see by any stretch. But Andrew ZH is not exactly closing in on Christian MM17. A lot of work to do, but still three or so laps left. Incredible, incredible stuff. Riding then with the Repsol Honda of Andrew ZH, your pole setter, holding on to a net second position here with just under two laps now remaining. Look at Luigi 48 GP and Ellie Ghost 555. It's been a very familiar story over the course of this race and the KTM rider has not managed to get rid of the back of that Mobistar Yamaha over the distance of this one. We ride on board then with Ellie Ghost 555. He's attacking. You've got Luigi 48 GP in front who will have to be defending if that gap does shrink a little bit more. Yeah, and look at this, we're riding on, Ellie, on board with Ellie Ghost T555, uh, even if I could get the username out. He was running a little bit wide there on the entry to that tight right-hander. Did he lose a little bit of time there? He might have done, it just might have cost him a couple of tenths of a second, and that really is all you need here to lose a couple of tenths of a second. Swomey's had a second crash in this race, so it has been curtains then for the Briton. A very big shame for him in this first semi-final. He's going to have to hope for a, nothing short of a miracle, really, as these riders come over the line to start their penultimate lap. Timothy McGarden, though, made his way up to fifth place at the moment. He looks pretty solidly in that fifth place position. Uh, Trastevere, is it too little too late? Well, let's not forget, of course. Oh, it is oh, too little too late. He's gone down. Oh, disaster for the reigning champion. Trastevere, 73, has crashed out then. We didn't see it on screen, but we saw the graphic, and it is a tumble down the road once again, not for the first time in this race. Let's not forget as well, Matt, we were mentioning about Timothy McGarden a couple of moments ago. He is one of the riders who is under investigation by race direction as well. Yeah. Very true, so we'll have to review that after the race, but trust a very, well, well, that was a bit of a commentator's curse, I think it was. I just brought him up and he went down. Not sure if he probably heard me, but look at this man out front, Christian MM17, still not letting Andrew ZH get anywhere near him. And this is exactly what we saw last year from Christian MM17 as well. Once he was out in front, he was pretty much untouchable. He won the semi-final in Valencia last year and he finished second in the grand final right when it mattered. Unfortunately, it didn't go too well for him. It's not going too well for Swomi as well. It's just a gone third from bad crash. to worse. It yes. has. Absolute disaster for him. He can go and talk with Jamba Masia later. He's had a bit of a bad day as well. Bike cutting out on him. These two can go and drown their sorrows together. Yep, they certainly can. Well, last lap approaching here at the Mazzano World Circuit. Marco Simoncelli, it's Christian MM17's race to lose. Nine tenths of a second is the advantage over Andrew ZH. You're looking at the battle for third position between Luigi 48 GP and Ellie Ghost 555 through turn one, turn He's two. He's closing in on him in this first sector. He is quick there. This is very tight, twisty one line. Will he dare to make a move? He's going to think about it down towards turn number four. Surely he's going for the outside line. He's going to dart his way up the inside. Not quite through there, but he's really pushing the limits of adhesion. It's going to be a case of if he gets a good exit out of oh, here. Oh, very, very close. close. Very close indeed. They're going to try and find a way through down into turn eight, but he's had a poor run crucially onto that back straight. 
and it's not going to be here at this point in the lap for him. Will it be harnessing his inner Kevin Schwantz, see guard and then break? No, he wasn't at that time around. He's coming up to that really tight right-handed complex before the back straight. He's got to get a good run on there if he has any chance of taking over that KTM. Certainly is going to. Bit wide there for Luigi 48 GP as well. Could this be the Italian's undoing now? He's got Elio's 555 right behind him. This is getting very exciting. And let's see what he's going to be able to do and see whether he's going to find his way past in the last couple of corners. Oh, 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 he goes down! They go together! Bike, his bike nearly goes to the grandstand. Absolutely unbelievable! Well, that's big, big drama there. Just pushing that little bit too hard too soon. And then he goes 555. Looks like he could be out of the grand final at the first point of asking. Out of the final corner, though, comes Christian MM17. A brilliant race and a win for the Spaniard on the Italian bike. A brilliant, brilliant performance for him. He goes through. He takes victory here. Andrew ZH finishes in second position. Luigi 48 GP in third place. Timothy McGarden finishes in fourth. Adrian 26 in fifth position. And then against all the odds, Ellie goes 5 by 5 despite that crash, somehow held on to sixth place. Oh, my goodness. Well, we'll have to see what actually happens, what the race director decides about those incidents around investigation. But... Esports delivering the drama once again. And here in Mizano, check out those final results. Well, these are provisional final results as well, Matt. Let's not forget Race Direction are going to have to have a bit of a look at some of the incidents that happened on track there. You can see further down the order, races to forget for uh, Juan N816, Trastevere 73, Iotti for Rossi, down from 10th position uh, to 12th place. All those riders from 7th down to 12th not making the cut. Unfortunately, race results to be confirmed. You can see there at the bottom of your screen that tip is eight then means that Race Direction are going to be having a look at some of those incidents incidents which happened on track to see whether there are any penalties that need to be addressed. Yeah, and look at those times as well. Those are pretty, pretty quick, getting even quicker than they were in qualifying. No sorts of issues of uh, major tyre degradation for there for these guys. Really rapid time, so, so close throughout the field. What a race I was on. I'm absolutely exhausted. Can someone get me a flannel? Yeah, absolutely. We need to cool down up here in the commentary box. I'll tell you that for nothing. One NH16 as well. Interesting to note there, finishing seventh place just outside of that top six, as you can see. But he was one of the slower riders on track. In fact, he set the slowest lap time over the course of the race. So it doesn't necessarily mean that outright pace is what mattered in that one. It was just being really in the right place at the right time. Yeah, and it's much easier if you're following someone to break where they break and react the sort of the same time as they do. But my goodness, what drama all over the place. So many crashes in, in the race direction. Take a look at the uh, maybe exceeding track limits as well. Oh, I'm just absolutely exhausted. Really, really gutted to see that though. Suomi down in 12th place after a disastrous final sort of sector, final part of the race. Yep, absolutely right there, Matt. And of course, the reigning champion, crucially, out of it as well. He finished down outside of the top six to Trastevere 73. A brilliant race, though, for all involved. We're going to be looking at some highlights of this in just a couple of moments' time, Matt. It's going to be a thriller. You're going to be struggling to keep up. Well, I think the reason why they're a little bit delayed right now is because there are so many highlights to choose from. <laughs> that's why it's on. But let's get a look at them then. These are the highlights. It was a cracking start, but just check out all this drama in that first sector. Absolutely unreal. Trastevere got absolutely caught up in amongst the pack, wiped down by everybody as in that first, first sort of section or so. Just carnage all over the place. Adrian 26 going down the background. And the, where did Trevor Sterling uh, go 26. down? It, oh, we can actually see that there as we cut out from the footage. But it was Christian MM17 who led the way from very, very early on. And I tell you what, he did not look back. Ah, it was the <laughs> it was Trevor Sterling going down in the background then on the run onto the back straight. That Yamaha there, though, ever present in the run for the podium. Still waiting for these results to be confirmed by race direction. Look at this, to run onto the back straight. Super, super fast as we head into that right-hander. Got to be very, very careful there as to not cut track limits. Andrew ZH overtaking there. Timothy McGarden, what a move that was. Really, really neat lines on the exit there. Not to be taken back by McGarden, just on the exit. Meanwhile, Christian MM17 maintaining that eight, eight tenths of a second gap throughout that first sector. Real, real masterclass it was, as Tom said. Oh, just we saw the overtakes there. Ellie goes to uh, 555, just losing out there to Luigi 48 GP. My goodness, what action we have seen there. The refs or Honda with that fluorescent yellow. Not seen that for some decades now, have we? Uh, ever present up there in the leading positions. Look at the face of concentration there. And as we, uh, there's so much action throughout the field as well. Perhaps some more moves being under investigation by race direction. So much to go through, so much drama throughout that field. 
onto the sixth lap then, and it was the KTM versus the Yamaha still battling at it. Hammer and Tong, we all know how that ended in the final lap. Near disaster for the Yamaha, but that Ducati, the reigning champion, was still trying to make his way through the field, taking a bit too much notice of what was going on in front of him. He didn't see that Aprilia coming right up behind him, sneaking up the inside, and it was two for one, because there was the Pramac Ducati up the inside of him there. Absolutely messed up his run onto the back straight completely. There was absolute drama for the Team Australia Galithia Mark VDS bike. He was down and out. That was him out the running for that particular position. Just a little bit heard of me and Tom get a little bit excited there from the highlights as well. This was the final, final sector or so. As we were in the final lap, you're about to see some major drama as we head down towards turn eight between that KTM and the Yamaha Luigi 48 GP. Just held his line securely. The Yamaha sends it. Well, pretty much into space. My goodness me, how about that for last that drama? But Ellie Ghost 555 managed to keep that spot in the top six. Thank goodness for him. But it was Christian MM17 crossing the line to take a very dominant victory. He is through to Valencia. What a race we have just had here in Mizano. Still waiting for those results to be confirmed by race direction, though. So much to go through. And uh, yeah, I bet you need some new tape on your nose, son, as do I after that. Thank you very much for the entertainment, boys. Very, very impressive stuff here at the Mazzano World Circuit, Marco Simoncelli. Thank you so much to Matt as well up in the commentary box. And now it does give me great pleasure to welcome on the top six finishers in the MotoGP eSport semi-final one here at the Mazzano World Circuit, Marco Simoncelli. Okay, Matt, I think we're coming back up to you, uh, potentially for confirmation of race results. Yeah, it seems so near enough confirmation, though we do have some time penalties applied to Ivan Avella and also Paul IG for some discrepancy during that races. Can't exactly recall which one. The uh, race director will certainly know better than I do. But some time penalties for them, but that has no effect. The top six are completely confirmed. They are as they were on those results and they will be going through to Valencia. The grand final, the others, the other six, they get another crack at the whip, ready to try and get their way into Madrid, into the next semi-final and make their way to Valencia there. Matt, thank you very, very much indeed. An incredible performance then, and uh, thank you for his commentary as well. Give him a round of applause here, ladies and gentlemen. It really has been a brilliant performance from, uh, from Matt Dunn. So we do need then to welcome the top six finishers from the MotoGP Esports semi-final one onto the stage. We can have them in ascending order from first down to sixth position closest to me. So if I could welcome on stage Christian MM17, Andrew ZH, Luigi 48 GP, uh, Timothy McGarden, Adrian 26, and Ellie Ghost 555. Give them a round of applause as they come onto stage. Brilliant stuff. Great to have them all here. Absolutely incredible. And uh, Christian MM17, well, it was uh, a brilliant performance from him. Where is Christian? There we are. We set him up here. Christian, uh, an incredible performance from you. A, a challenging weekend, as we said, with the, the karting accident you had at the start of it. But it all came good for you in that semi final, didn't it? Uh, the race was very difficult. Uh, fortunately, the, the start was very well. And I came to, to make some gap. And um, then. I I have to to go very very fast because Andrew also very 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 fast. But fortunately, I can win this race. Incredible performance from you, and of course, uh, it doesn't really stop there. He's not just got the glory of this as well here, Amy. He's got a special prize here from this evening as well. He has indeed, Christian. It's time for you to receive your special award from BMW. Before we do that, though, we would like our lovely ladies to handle or hand out all of our finalists here this evening uh, their qualifying caps. So congratulations once again to all of our finalists here up on the stage. Brilliant, so they're being handed out with the Michelin caps as you can see, they'll be placing them on their heads. Probably gonna be a bit sweaty, they'll have to stick them in the wash after this one as well. It really was very hot under the collar for those guys after that one. Seems to be fitting quite well though. There we go. Right, time for the big prize for Christian. Are you ready? So you are receiving from BMW a once in a lifetime driving experience at the Nürburgring. Pretty impressive, impressive if you ask me. And here to award your prize, uh, Vladimir Bistroboda, the BMW M Head of Corporation MotoGP, if he would like to come and join us on the stage to hand out the award. Let's give him a round of applause.
Fantastic stuff. Let's get them to pose for a few photographs as well. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Congratulations to Christian. Congratulations to all of our semi-finalists who have made their way through automatically into that grand final. It's been an incredible performance from them today.